Once again, we say good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Coppin State University and the Physical Education Complex. For tonight's British Athletic Conference game, between the Thune-Cookman University Wildcats and your Coppin State University Eagles. And now, here are your starting lineups. First for the visiting Wildcats of Bethune-Cookman University. At forward, 6'9", and a junior from Northport, Alabama, number 10, Clitrell Pope. At forward, 6'6", six, six, and a senior from the Bronx, New York, number 11, Sufi Diakiti. At guard, 6'4", and a junior from Columbus, Ohio, number 2, Houston Smith. At guard, 6'5", and a junior from Eustis, Florida, number 15, Mark Gordon. And at guard, 6'2", and a graduate student from Palm Beach, Florida, number 21, Dondre Duffus. Assistant coaches for bethune Cooping are Jeff Claypax and Woody Taylor. The associate head coach is Dominique Taylor. And the head coach of bethune Cooping University Wildcats is Ryan Ritter. We got a lot in. That's how you can't land on. I'm excited because of our effort. Just keep competing. Uh, question with you. Who's Yeah. Champions of the United States. We finally made it out there. Tricky is good. Hallelujah. Whoa. And now, the star lineup for your Coppin State University Eagles. At forward, 6'7", and a senior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, number one, Chad Andrews Fulton. At the yellow forward, 6'8", and a senior from Kennesaw, Georgia, number five, Cedric Council Jr. At guard, 6'4", and a sophomore from Newport News, Virginia, number three, Taekwon Drummond. At guard, 6'2", and a sophomore from Bowie, Maryland, Number 13, Dewan Clayton. And a guard, 6'6", six, six, and a senior from Wellingboro, New Georgia, New Jersey. Number 22, Lamar Morgan. Eagles director of basketball operations is Joseph Gripper. Assistant coach is Charles Agamagu. The associate head coach is John Oslander. And the head coach of your Eagles is Juan Dixon. Live once again here at the PEC on the campus of Coppin State University as the Eagles get set to take on the Wildcats of Bethune-Cookman in a critical MEAC showdown. Top Harley, Lavon Foreman with you. Coppin 3-4 to MEAC, Bethune-Cookman 3-3 three three after a loss to Morgan on Saturday, 77-71. Coppin a heartbreaker, 72-70 loss to FAMU. Right, yeah, definitely. Um, you know what, both teams are looking to rebound. Both teams took a tough loss, especially Coppin. Um, was a heartbreaker, so they want to get back on track. So I expect both teams to come out with a lot of energy and try to get back on a winning streak. Pope coming off 24 points across town on Saturday. As he goes, so go the Wildcats. Right, exactly. So I expect him to come out being aggressive as usual and trying to stay aggressive. And what Coppin has to do, we definitely have to make a concerted effort, team effort, to keep him under wraps. Cedric Council Jr. is in the jump circle with Pope. And we're about set to go here at the PEC. Coppin in the white uniforms. And it's Bethune-Cookman in the 
Road Maroons. And we're going to jump it again. Or are we? The shot clock went to 20 seconds. Wow. Inexplicably, they put 20 minutes back up on the clock, and we're just going to begin with an inbound for far side. Okay. Reminds me of the strange start we had Saturday. So now on the bounce, Duffus has it near side left. On the bounce down, our block closest to us. Yakiti rim it off, and on the offensive rebound, we got a whistle and a foul. Count the basket, the foul's on set, that's his first. Pope makes it a 2 0 Wildcat lead. Talk about an odd start. Right, yeah. You know, it was some tough banging down low. You know, tried to stop him, but ended up looking like getting a piece of his arm. Pope's free throw is good. However, it's a lane violation. We're not even 20 seconds in. It's already off the rails. It is. Back of the rim, no, and the second attempt at the end one. Keep it 2 0. Bethune Cookman. Chad Andrews Fulton, head of the key, we think. On the bounce back door, it was intended for Drummond. Hit the defender in the backside with the intended pass. Now it's Gordon, he'll reset it to Duffus high right, 19 to shoot. Yakite hands it off, far side of the right, Smith with penetration, stolen. Here comes Chad Andrews Fulton on the run back, line, lane, fights over the right hand, glass no good. Yakite with the rebound, quick outlet now for Gordon, head of the key, Diakite floats it up. Wide left to Pope, rim it off, but a whistle and a foul. Little lob action in the lane, that foul is uh, Chad Andrews Fulton, that's his first. So Lavone, a minute plus in, Coppin's already got two fouls. Right, yeah, we got to do a better job definitely defending the paint. Seems like early on, every time they go to the basket, they're getting the foul. Try to do a better job just staying in front of him without filing. Pope's free throw is on the way and good. Second free throw is good. Four nothing to my count in favor of Pope and Bethune Cookman. Morgan with it between the rings. Now for Council. Council now for Clayton. Clayton on the bounce, gave it up to Chad Andrews Fulton to the doorstep, fights it up the right hand and scores. It's a nice pass, nice strong move. Straight up. Top side left. Diakite wants a three and buries it. So here's the score correction, if I may. Three free throw makes for Pope. Now they do change it. 6 2. In favor of the third and an answer three for Coppin. Lamar Morgan's first three. 6 5 at third Cookman. Head of the key now. Diakite near side left corner. Another three on the way. Lift the rim and out. On the attempt from Gordon. Clayton with it, far side left. Left of the lane, bounce it weak side of the right. Drummond, head of the key. Chad wants a three, front of the rim, no good. And on the collision for the rebound, how is there a foul? Yeah, I didn't see anybody Two there. Two Wildcats came together for the ball. Exactly. Cedric Council Jr. picks up his second. Apparently that was before the rebound. Yeah, I definitely didn't see anything. I'm just... 
Medley Bacon checks in. Said can't believe it. I'm with you, big fella. All right, here's a score correction. Popes made three free throws. That was the first three points of the game. Then the three for Yakite. So that makes it a 6 5. Thune Cookman lead after Chad's easy basket for two and then Lamar Morgan's three. So that's where we stand. 6 5, 17, 20 to go in the first half. On the tip follow, Morgan hit the back iron on the dunk attempt. It came rimming off. Drummond had a poke free. Morgan going strong to the rack. Last and good. And Coppin's got the lead at 7 6. Morgan now with five in the opening half. First lead change of the night. On the bounce. Top side left. Pope wants a three. Lift the ribbon off. Andrews Fulton a rebound. Hands it up to a trailing Clayton. Out of the floor court, head of the key. Turns left. Kick it out to Drummond, left corner. Lobs it high left out of Chad Andrews Fulton. 13 to shoot. Head of the key now to Morgan. Morgan on the step right, runs it right away, fights it up. Lots of contact. There's a whistle. We didn't even hear it. It was down here to our right. Contact on Houston Smith. That's his first. It's a tough take by Lamar Morgan. Morgan steps in at the free throw line. First one lift the rim and popped out. Morgan's free throw on the way and good. Morgan split a pair, 8-6 Coppin. And I got news for you. At the under 16 media timeout, I'm asking the official because he looked right at us and went count the basket, right? Exactly. Block shot attempt by Duffus. Here comes Dewan Clayton. High off the window. The rim, no. Rebound. Chad Andrews Fulton ribbing off. Medley Bacon powers to his left. Fights it up. Missed everything, but he's fouled. Yakini with the foul. That's his first. Comes at 16.07 to go in the half. Medley Bacon doing his best impersonation of a human pogo stick. Exactly. Rim and off. He was just straight up and down twice. Yeah, um, that was good persistence to stay with it. Yeah, he stayed with it, got rewarded with the foul. Rim and in on the second attempt. 9-6, Coppin State. Substitution waiting at the table. They never looked. Maitland was there in plenty of time. He'll now check in to replace Smith. The officials just flat out missed it. Ryan Ritter in his second year at the helm of the Wildcats program. Looking at the official going, what's a guy got to do to get in the game? Exactly, yeah. They definitely missed that one. Right elbow picking up the bounces. Maitland. They'll swing it near side left corner. Diakiti through the lane. Picked off by Clayton. Dewan on the run out. Hits Drummond up the left side. Clayton steps in. 15. Rim it off. Get back. Get back. On the run back, the Akiti. Ducks in. Hit the window. No good. Coppin's got numbers the other way. Drummond put it behind his back. Picks up the bounce. Now to the forecourt. Clayton's got it high left. Steps into a three. Rim it off. And the sea of red went to the glass to get the rebound. Here comes Duffus, lined in a lane, protecting the ball with the left hand. Glass no, but a whistle and a foul. Fouls on Chad Andrews Fulton. That's his second, and sure enough, under 16 media timeout because of 15-21 to go in the first. Coppin, the leading Bethune-Cookman, 9-6 in the Coppin State Sports Network.
fans, you can visit CoppingGear.com to get your CSU apparel. Currently, it's free shipping with any purchase of $50 or more until February 11th. CoppingGear.com, it's where the home team shops and the home team right now. LeVon Foreman, a 9-6 lead. Yeah, you know what, dude? I'm not playing too bad. You know, I just want them to be a little bit more careful with the basketball and not foul so much when Bethune gets down in the paint, but so far, not too bad. Free throw comes rimming off. Or Duffus will have another one. Rim it off. Spears has checked in out of the media timeout. Replacing Chad Andrews Fulton who exits with the two fouls and two points. Clayton feeds it off to Medley Bacon. Turns right of the lane. Rim it home. Big foul on the right hand. Nice. Nice strong duck. Nice pass. 11-6. Coppin. Pull up on the right hand floater. Rim it out for Gordon. Pretty easy when you're eye level at the rim. Yeah. Swing it back to Steers. It's past him and right in front of us, Juan Dixon picks up the loose ball. The right idea, but it was too strong. Too strong. Pass just a little too long, but try to get the next one. Chantrez Davis inbounds the basketball. He checked in out of the under 16 media timeout. Maitland hands it off to your side left. Gave it up to Duffus and on the ball reversal. Good thing you got the lid on the plastic bottle of the bottled water because it just got spilled all over the floor on the far side. The bottle did, and the cap stayed on. Back-to-back -back turnovers, one for Coppin, one for Bethune-Cookman as this raucous crowd coming to life here early in the opening half. Five and a half in, 11-6 Coppin. Clayton high right. Morgan wants another three. Right of the rim, no good. Rim it off to Pope. The Akiti with it, head of the key, turning left. Check that. It is Duffus on the run, and to the doorstep, we have a whistle and a foul. Kent Oslander, the foul, that's his first. Fifth on Coppin as a team. First one's on the way. Rim, it popped out. Duffus is looking around going, what do I have to do to get this free throw to go in? That's one. He's a graduate out of Southeast Missouri. Second one's on the way, good. Duffus is on the board, making 11-7 Coppin, and a substitution now as... Duffus will exit, and Wally Parks. So Ryan Ritter, again, second game in a row, Lavon Foreman, he's got eight deep as he did on Saturday. Wow. Yeah, he's definitely starting off fast. Yeah, Coppin, Coppin definitely, definitely want to settle down on defense and definitely try to stop the penetration to the lane. Steers line to the lane, Medley Bacon turns right, blocked from behind and out of bounds. Last touched by Davis. Boy, Medley Bacon's playing with all the confidence in the world right now. Medley Bacon is definitely aggressive, which I like. It looks like he was looking for another dunk right there before the block. Clayton to Oslander, top side right. Shot clock down to 20. Oslander going right. Medley Bacon, the offensive foul because it was a moving screen. Keep it 11 7 Coppin. Under 14 minutes to go, opening half. Left of the Davis screen. Now back into the key to Pope. Ball screen hand up, back to Maitland. Maitland going left of the lane, bouncing off into traffic. Now a skip out far side of the right. Three ball is on the way out of the right corner. Good for Davis. Make it 11-10, Coppin. Oslander on the bounce, high right. Ball screen hand up out of Drummond, going right. Bounces down to the doorstep. Medley Bacon going to work. Turns right, got caught on that doorstep and traveled. Hey. 
That's a costly turnover. Yeah, I know Manly Bacon wanted to try to try to make something right there, but probably did a little too much. Probably should have passed it back out. Maitland's got it left side. Now head of the key. A head fake and a shot fake to Davis. Right through the hands of Maitland. He'll gather with 15 to shoot. Takes it left of the lane. Lob it back door. Off the glass. No on the lob attempt. In and out of the hands of Davis. Drummond now to Clayton. Head of the key. Zip it right corner. Oslander goes baseline right. Skip it out to Drummond. Far side left. Coming back to the doorstep. Deflected by Medley Bacon. Now to Clayton. He'll reset it. 16 to shoot. Set it, Bridget. Medley Bacon head of the key on the pick and roll. Clayton picks it up. Now to Medley Bacon. Left side. Steers thought about a 3-7 to shoot. Steers step right three. Is on the way. Wave it off. I think he traveled. He did. Yeah. The James Harden. Jump stop. Yep, exactly what I was going to say. James Harden, a few too many steps. Or Steph Curry, whichever you prefer. Right, I think I'm going to go with James Harden. Sometimes it looks like he takes about five steps. Clayton checks out. Even Williams is in for the first time for Coppin State. Maitland runs the show. Swings it near side left. Into the hands now of Parks. Back to Maitland, high left, 15 to shoot. Bounce it down to Davis. Trying to face up on Medley Bacon. Now hit of the key at the free throw line. Pull up jumper. Instead, a pass to the near side left, and that's good out of the corner again for Davis. Give him six, and the lead is two at 13-11, Bethune-Cookman. Second lead change of the opening half. Williams the handle coming right around the Medley Bacon screen. Lob back to the jump circle to Steers. Skip pass right side Williams going baseline right. Bounce it off to Medley Bacon. Ram it home again, big fella. Give him five or even at 13. Left corner kick out. And on the penetration, Medley Bacon's going to pick up his second. That's coming left to right with the handle was Mark Gordon. Brings us to the under-12 media timeout. 11.43 to go in the first half. Top of Bethune-Cookman, even at 13 of the Comet State Sports Network. Eleven forty-three to go, opening half. Even at thirteen here at the PEC, fans, you can travel to confidence and enjoy the comfort of spacious studio accommodations. The Town Place Suites, Baltimore, BWI Airport, less than ten miles from downtown Baltimore. Your home away from home is waiting for you. That's the Town Place Suites, Baltimore, BWI Airport, the official airport hotel. Coppin State Athletics. Todd Barley, Malone Foreman, with you here courtside at the PEC. Rebound margin to Coppin right now at ten-eight. Yeah, that's definitely a good sign right now. Coppin is leading the boards. Definitely want to keep that up so far. We just got to try to avoid some of these uh, fouls. Gordon with the free throw make. Puts Bethune-Cookman back in front, 14-13. Second one's on the way. Good again. 15-13 on two Gordon free throws. And Bethune-Cookman wants to press. Gear Ring also checked in for Coppin State. Out of the timeout. Morgan, left side, Oslander. Turns in the lane, feeds it off the ring, going strong. Blocked by Davis, but a late whistle. Davis, the foul, that's his first. I have a feeling the official was waiting to see if the 
attempted dunk was going to go. Yep, the good old wait to see if he makes the basket first before he called a foul, but definitely a foul. Nice pass. Ring at the free throw line. Puts it on the way, and it's good. Top and pulls within one. 15-14, 11.33 to go in the half. Second one's on the way. Back of the rim, no good. Ring with a follow. Glass rim, no. Rebound to Parks. Keep it a one-point Wildcat advantage. On the bounce. Maitland's got it. Far shot right. Bounce it down far block to Davis. Going to work on Ring. Trying to bounce in the lane. Steers trying to corral it. Check that. Morgan trying to corral it. It's off his shoe tops. I don't think it was really kicked, was it, LeBron? Um, it looked like it hit more of his leg. I was hoping they would let that one just continue. Shot clock to 20 on the inbound for Davis. Zips it to the corner. On the bounce high right. Diakiti going strong to the basket. Oh, my goodness. A blocking foul is called. Wow. Steers with the awesome block from behind, but... Like you said, it looks like they called a blocking foul. Ring with his first, trying to take the charge. Credit to the young man stepping in, trying to take that charge. Yeah. First free throw is on the way, rim it off. For Diakiti. Checking back in will be Duffus. He is going to replace Mark Gordon exiting. Two free throw makes, no fouls. Transfer out of Moorhead State University. Second one back of the rim, no. Ball popped free, and Morgan's got it along the baseline. Quick outlet out of Oslander. Hands it off to Williams, just shy of the time stripe, now to the forecourt, right through the CSU brand new logo. Left to right handle. Williams, right of the lane, ducks in with a high right hand runner. Glass no good. On the run back, Maitland fires from three, make it a long two, and it's good. 17-14, Bethune-Cookman the lead. Ten and a half to go, first half. Oslander, answer floater, missed everything. Davis, center of the floor now for Maitland. Maitland finds a cutter, line to the lane, right hand floater, back of the rim, no, out of the hand of Diakiti. Offensive rebound for Parks, back end of the key. Duffus has it far side of the right, he'll back it out. Out of Maitland, left of the jump circle. Maitland on the bounce, taking Williams left to the lane, a fadeaway is on the way, good, tough shot. Very tough shot. 19-14, Bethune-Cookman and a timeout, Coppin State. 9.54 to go in the opening half. It's now Bethune-Cookman leading Coppin, 19-14, back after a quick 30-second timeout message on the Coppin State Sports Network. Fans, you can listen to all the Common State basketball home games on FoxSportsWayingSport.com as well as Baltimore's WNST 1570 AM. Proud partners of Coppin State Athletics. Todd Bartley, Lamone Foreman with you. 6-1 answer by Bethune-Cookman after the game was not at 13. Yeah. Um, definitely Bethune-Cookman going on a little run. Coppin just has to just settle down a little bit and run the offense and... Make sure not to foul on defense. Drummond with it. Now to Clayton, head of the key. Pick and roll to Andrews Fulton. Kick it out left That's corner. Drummond right. wants a three. Rim and spun out. Ring with an offensive That's rebound. Right. Count it to foul. Ring now with three. Makes it 19-16. And a free throw coming on Davis' second personal foul. Strong rebound. With the put back and one. Here, Ray, 
Davis checks out with the two personal fouls. Rings free throw comes rimming off into the hands of Parks. It's a handle now. Duffus has it. Or side to the right. The Akiti. Gave it up out of that right hand corner for a Maitland three tip follow, and that's good. Parks' first field goal makes it 21 16 Bethune Cookman. Drummond the handle. Top side right now to Morgan. Back into the key now to Ring. Feeling it early. Wants a three and rattles home. Ring now with six. 21 19 Wildcats. Reverse it off high right. Diakini wants an answer three. Rim it off. Rebound Drummond. Outlet up the far side of the floor now for Clayton. Clayton, hesitation dribble. Got that a rack last and good. So on Clayton. And top of pulls even at 21. Beautiful move by Clayton. Maitland on the bounce. Line of the lane floater. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound Clayton. Clayton on the run out. Bounce it off left of the lane. Drummond runs it up and scores with the right hand. Top it back on top at 23-21. Top side left, Maitland. 9-2, Coppin response to lead by two. Under eight to go in the first half. Swing it right side. Duffus on the run, lost the handle. Morgan, outlet now for Clayton. Clayton coming back, bounce it back for a trailing three for Morgan. It's on the way. Rim, it spins off. He hits that, and the roof's coming off. It is. Coppin has really picked up their defensive intensity. So now Maitland on the bounce. Has a double screen right in front of him. Turns left, got to the free throw line, now backs it out. Hesitation dribble, line to the lane, rim and good. Maitland now with six, even at 23. 7-14 to go in the half. Drummond now to the floor court. He's defended by Duffus. Andrews Fulton a touchdown for Clayton. Clayton going strong with the left hand. Pass it good again. Clayton now with four. Topping by two at 25-23. Under seven to go in the half. Swing it right side. He almost took the eyebrows right off of Pope with that pass. Down to the far block. Fighting on traffic, and we're going to get a whistle and what? Travel is called on the and it brings us to a timeout. 6.38 to go in the first half. Coppin leads with Thune Cookman. 25-23 on the Coppin State Sports Network. Fans, the big game is here, which means it's time to get those big game party orders in. Call B-Dubs today and reserve your time for pickup. Don't forget to ask about our party menu, and if you pre-order this week and pick up before 3 on Sunday, February 3rd, you get 10% off. Buffalo Wild Wings in Arundel Mills, Owings Mills, and White Marsh, Maryland. you got to get your big game party order in. It's the big game. It's next weekend. Definitely want to get it in. Definitely want to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. It's going to be a great game. Rivalry, Morgan State, Coppin State. How about it? Get two sets of party packs. Get it on Big Game Eve, which happens to be Saturday. I mean, it's only the Battle of Baltimore, right? Right. 
that's the big game that weekend. I, I hate to tell everybody. Oh, wait, they're playing a game on Sunday. Oh. Yeah. Something about it's on TV. Oh, right. 25-23, <laughs> copping by two. Clayton to handle. Gives it up to Medley Bacon, trying to spin right to left. Got caught in midair. Swings it left corner now for Drummond. Hands it back to Medley Bacon. Back to Tay. Turns right to left. Nearly lost the handle. Medley Bacon with a catch with five to shoot. Right side skip and tenant for Morgan. It goes out of bounds. So now Bethune Cookman a chance to tie or take the lead at 6.12 to go in the half. On the bounce, Maitland coming left of the screen from Parks. Maitland got caught left of the lane. Now reverse it off head of the key. Gordon's got it. Launches from three. Rim, rim it off. Morgan the rebound, puts it down near the floor and an outlet quickly to Clayton. Nice box out by Manley Right Bacon. side, Morgan wants a three. Good, Lamar Morgan. Morgan. 28-23. What zip code was that again? Oh, wow. He shot it from the inner harbor. <laughs> Left of the lane. Dump it down to the doorstep. Glass no and a foul on the Pope attempt. Medley Bacon just picked up his third. Lavone Foreman, in his third game on the Coppa State Sports Network, just said, Lamar Morgan, if you missed it, let it fly from the Inner Harbor and drained it. Exactly. My man. <laughs> Rim and off for Pope. Medley Bacon's checking out. Here comes Sed back in. Scored us two fouls. So the bigs right now, the depth is being challenged with the foul trouble. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely being challenged right now. Medley uh, Bacon definitely had a good good run, but he definitely has to sit right now. But, um, yeah, got to try to stay out of foul trouble. Free throw, hit the rim and off. And a whistle and what now. Last touch by Bethune Cookman out of bounds. Keep it a five-point cop and lead it. 28-23, five and a half to go. Great look at Coach Dixon flirting with the edge of the coach's box on the floor. Clayton with it, head of the key. Crossover dribble to his right, kicked it out right corner. Catching fire three is on the way, rim it off out of the hand of Drummond. Weak side rebound to Davis. Now on the run back, Duffus has it, top side left. Skip it, far side of the right. Davis, another catch and fire three, good again. Davis' is third three pulls Bethune-Cookman within two at 28-26. Under five to go in the half. Drummond, high left out of Council. Council hands it back to Andrews Fulton. He turned, looked at the official and says, Pope just leveled me. Morgan on the turn left of the lane. Reverse it off to Clayton. In between, bounce. Catches, fires out of the key three. That's good. Nice. Nice looking shot. Three-pointer up, three-pointer in. 31-26, Coppin State again by five. Running left in the lane. Travel. In fact, running left in the lane was Dondre Duffus. Brings us down to 425 remaining in the opening half. Clayton on the bounce. Now to the forecourt. Left of the Morgan screen. Ducks in the left-hand floater. Glass in good. Go on. Clayton now with nine. 33-26. Coppin. Davis gave it up near side left to Gordon. Gordon runs it up from 15. Rim it off. Tip three by Drummond. Coming away with it in the lane. I believe that was Pope. Knocked free by Morgan. Clayton to Morgan. Left corner. Not quite the inner harbor, but he rises from three and draws Davis's third personal foul. That's a great move. Pump fake, get the defender in the air, gets the foul. Three free throws on the other side of the timeout, which comes at 353 to go in the opening half. Coppin leading Bethune Cookman, 33-26 on the Coppin State Sports Network.
Bay is a high place Baltimore Inner Harbor located near Fells Point. Offers a refreshing blend of style and innovation in a neighborhood alive with cultural attractions, shopping, and amazing local restaurants. High Place Baltimore Inner Harbor, the official downtown hotel for Coppin State Athletics. And as the low foreman mentioned moments ago, you may well see Lamar Morgan practicing from down there, letting that fly for three. Yeah, definitely. Um, it looks like he can shoot it from anywhere on the court. Uh, yeah, definitely. So now he's got three free throws coming, copping up by seven. At 33-26, rimming off. He'll have two more. Second one, front of the rim, no good. That's very un Lamar Morgan-esque right there. Right, you're right. See if he can make his last one. Third one's on the way. Good. Third one's a child. Morgan now with 10. 34-26. Coppin by 8. Their largest lead of the night comes at 348 and counting. First half. Right side penetration by Gordon. Has to kick it back out because he got cut off. Now for Maitland. High left out of Smith. Bounced it down. Andrews Golden knocked it free. It's out of bounds. Nice job, nice job by Andrew Fulton to get around to the uh, offensive player. Almost came up with the steal. 13 to shoot. Smith on the inbound. Gave it up to Maitland. Maitland coming left. Turns left in the lane, floats it up and scores. Uh, tough shot, nice floater. 34-28. That stemmed a 6-0 cop and run. Clayton high left, now to Morgan, head of the key, three is on the way, rimming off. Rebound to Pope. Now for Maitland. Maitland on the bounce, reversing off head of the key. Pope a trailing catch, faces, fires at the free throw line, rimming off, and we have a foul on the floor. Cedric Council Jr. just picked up his third. Gear ring set to check in to replace Cedric Council Jr. First of two is on the way. It's good. The Akiti now with four makes it 34 29. Coppin. 3.05 to go. Second one's good. 34 30. The Akiti now with five. Clayton on the bounce. Now to the jump circle. Takes it head of the key, turns right. Reverse it off head of the key. Ring one to three, it's on the way. Rim, oh my, how is that not goaltending? Didn't he get a hand on it in the cylinder? Very close, if, it, if not, it definitely came very close to touching that ball in the cylinder. Kick out to the right corner, and that floater off the right wing is good for Armani Collins. 34-32, Bethune-Cookman comes storming back to trail by two. Two and a half to go. Andrews Fulton right of the lane. Fights it up. Right of the rim. No good. Rebound to Pope. On the run back. Maitland line to the lane. Glass rim. No good. Rebound Drummond. Over the top Clayton. Clayton on the run out. Top side left. Going left of the lane. Bounce it out through the lane. Near side right. The three is on the way. Glances off the glass. No good for Drummond. Follow for a ring. Came up well short. We got a foul on the floor. Chad Andrews Fulton was battling for that loose ball. And the foul, I believe, is on Armani Collins. Oslander back to the table very quickly. Quain Drummond checks out. Coppin will inbound on the sixth team foul on the Wildcats. Andrews Fulton hands it off to Clayton. He thought about a step back three. 13 to shoot. Hands it off to Andrews Fulton. Head of the key three is on the way. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound to Gordon. Gordon on the run back, left of the lane. Stops. Bounce it out left corner. Now getting it back is Gordon. Skip it out left corner. Collins wants that three, and it's good. 35-34, Bethune-Cookman retakes the lead. Collins now with five. 90 seconds to go in the half. 
So this is now nine unanswered by Bethune-Cookman after Coppin led by eight. Andrews Fulton hands it off to Clayton. He wants a three for the lead back, rim it off. Get back! Get back! Rebound to Gordon, head of the key. Picks up the bounce, hands it off now. Diakini, top side left, gave it up to Collins. Far side of the right on the bounce, pulling it back is Gordon, and they call it for a carry. It's that pullback dribble, and he turned it over. Right. It was nice defense. It definitely was a carry. Oslander on the inbound. Looks at Clayton. Lob comes in to Clayton. Defended by Maitland. Under a minute to go in the half. On the bounce high right now to Morgan. Morgan looking. Gets to Oslander, head of the key. Kent surveys the situation, now puts it on the floor with the right hand. 13 to shoot. Takes it right. Got some room down the lane, fights it up. Rim no, but a whistle and a foul. Fouls on Collins. That's his second. Nice strong take to the basket by Auslander. Couldn't find anybody, decided to take it himself. Oslander's got two free throws coming at 43.9 to go. In the half, drains the front end to tie us at 35. Twelfth bench point of the night for Coppin State. Andrews Fulton checks out. Bethune-Cookman's bench, 24 of their 35. Oh. Second Oslander free throw on the way back of the rim. No good. Rebound Collins. Keep the game tied at 35. Hey, let's be solid, Mike. Four ties, four lead changes. Head of the key. Maitland's got it. Ball screen handoff. Now to Gordon. Turns right of the lane. Fight set up. Back of the rim. No, but a whistle and a foul. Oslander with his second. Thompson's way over the limit. So it's two free throws at the free throw line. First Gordon free throw, back of the rim, no good. Keeps us even at 35. One-tenth of a second differential game and shot clock. Second free throw, good. Gordon now with three, 36-35. Bethune Cookman. So Coppin can hold for one. Yeah, definitely. If you Coppin right here, you definitely want to run a good play so you won't leave no more time left on the clock for Bethune to try to score. Clayton, defended by Maitland. All right, let's go. Clayton on the bounce. Forces up a three. Rimming off. Tip free to Steers. Count it in the foul. Justin Steers. 1.6 to go in the half, and the foul assessed on Pope. His first. Coppin regains the lead at 37-36. 1.6 is a ton of time. Absolute ton of time. Yeah, it's definitely enough time for Bethune to get a, get a shot off. Steers' free throw is on the way. Good. Steers now with three. The lead is two, 38-36. He from beyond half court hit the side of the window. No good. So the Justin Steers and one at the end of the first half gives Coppin a 38-36 halftime lead. And it also brings us to our visit with assistant coach, Charles Agamagu. And let's talk about pace of play in this opening half, shall we, Charles? The pace of play in the opening half seem more like a 50 or 100 meter dash. Definitely going up and down, wouldn't you say so? Um, that's how we want to play. We like to play up and down. But we like to play at our pace as well. If I may see a stat sheet, so I don't say the wrong stats, this time over the air. 
I think our assisted turnover ratio wasn't too bad. Um, They're not here yet at the half, but as you can see, the assisted turnover yeah. margin That's almost even. So we are getting up and down. We expect them to play that way. We like to play that way, but it has to be a controlled pace, you know, it's, in a sense, controlled chaos. How big was the end one at the end of the half? Oh, absolutely. It's always good to be not, to go into a half with a lead, right? Uh, but we've we've seen this story before, right? We've gone into halves with leads, and we, for some odd reason, happened to dwindle. So we, we got to figure it out. Got to put two halves together. You mention it, and coming down the stretch now, yeah. we saw some swells, three, yeah. maybe even four possessions for both teams. Absolutely. What's the key, not just in the second half, but that final three to four minute stretch? Uh, to be quite honest with you, I think there has to be a focus and attention to detail that make to make winning plays. I think at times teams don't beat us. We, we hurt ourselves. We try to force tempo that's not there. We try to force passes that aren't there, and we end up hurting ourselves. Um, if I'm not mistaken, our last game, yeah. So we seven for six, but our, our last game we let number 21 really get going. Like as a shooter, you see a few of them go in. You gotta make shots. Finally, That's your right. bigs are in critical <laughs> foul trouble. How big is depth going to be in the second half? Absolutely, it's huge. It's huge. I, I was looking at how many people we played, about 10, right? And two of our seniors have three fouls. Excuse me, two of our bigs have three fouls. Chad has two. Well, that's why you go recruiting, right? You need depth. So you got to trust them. got to trust the young fellas to play. Guys like Gear Ring, kudos to him for stepping and having playing X amount of games. Justin Steers is growing up right between our eyes, so we got to figure it out. Appreciate the time as always. Well. Thank half. you so much, man. There it is, Charles Agamago here at the break. Speaking of the break, we'll take it with him. 38-36, Coppin leading Bethune-Cookman here on the Coppin State Sports Network. Game party orders in. Call B Dubs today, reserve your time and pick up, and don't forget to ask about our party menu. And if you pre order this week and pick up before 3 p.m. on Sunday, February the 3rd, you'll get 10% off. Buffalo Wild Wings, Rundle Mills, Owings Mills, White Marsh. People ask me why I love Blazer Rewards so much. I mean, isn't it obvious? You earn points by hanging out with friends and eating wings and watching sports. And I mean all the sports, like football, baseball, basketball, pop, pop, soccer, karate, boxing, Vincent. This one, I don't know. Check it out. First, you join. Go to BlazingRewards.com and follow the simple steps to sign up. Second, you earn. Just get off your butt and head to B-Dubs. Earn points by checking in, bringing friends, and ordering food. And finally... You redeem. Turn those hard-earned points into awesome rewards like wings, drinks, shareables, and more. Then just write your phone number on the check and rewards are deducted from your total. You can even earn points watching LARPing. 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 <laughs> Don't forget to stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and, ha and Instagram, and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also, use the hashtags IBackToMEAC and MEAC Nation to see your post reposted. And the big game is here once again. Don't forget to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, Arundel Mills, Owings Mills, White Marsh. From the moment you enter the newly renovated Holiday Inn in Baltimore Inner Harbor, until you return home, you experience all the charms that give our hometown its Charm City moniker. Hotels conveniently located three blocks from Baltimore Inner Harbor attractions, and across from the Baltimore Convention Center, within one mile, guests can find the Horseshoe Casino, Hard Rock Cafe, m and Bank Stadium, home of the Baltimore Ravens. THB Bagels in Delhi and Charles Village, proud sponsor of Coppin State Basketball. Come enjoy Baltimore's hometown bagels made fresh daily. And don't forget, alumni, become a member of the alumni, Coppin State Alumni Association. Stop and become a member today at the registration table on the concourse. Get your kids ready for summer by registering for basketball and tennis camps at coppincamps.com. 
fun, fun, and more fun, coppincamps.com. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you, please do not put your feet on the seats in front of you. Thank you. The dance starts here. The 2019 MEAC Basketball Tournament is back at Scope Arena in Norfolk, Virginia. It's six days of nonstop action as your favorite MEAC men's and women's basketball teams battle it out on the court for the right to play in the big dance. Get your tickets today at MEACHoops.com. Member institutions and Ticketmaster. March 11th through the 16th at Scope Arena as the road to the big dance goes through Norfolk. At the break, Conver leads Bethune Cookman 38-36. Here's a great look at Dewan Clayton off the bounce. Crossover dribble right to the rack and scores Lavone Foreman. And that was all part of that run to get Coppin up by eight. Yeah, Clayton's definitely having a great first half. Every time he seems to go to his left, something good seems to happen. Either he makes the scoop left hand layup or he passes to the corner. So um, definitely want to see more of that this second half. Another very strong take. That one by Drummond. And those back-to-back -back field goals led to that eight-point margin at 34-26, but not to be outdone, Bethune-Cookman answered. Nine unanswered points made it 35-34, and then Coppin scores 4-1, including the and one to close out the half. Right, yeah. You know, most teams are going to make a run. Um, Coppin held the ball at the end of the first half to try to get the last shot. Um, they missed it, but got the rebound, got the foul, and one. How big is that conversation with Charles Agamagu getting set for the second half and taking care of the basketball down the stretch in the second half yet to come. Right, yeah, he definitely wanted to take care of the ball. You know, um, this first half we did have some little bit of careless turnovers and you definitely want to make sure you cut that down. How about the numbers in the opening half too? Um, numbers are pretty even. Uh, rebounds, Coppin's down three. Uh, Bethune-Cookman has 24, Coppin has 21. Uh, free throw percentage, both teams shooting 50%.
Uh, Bethune Cook, Cookman, I'm sorry, 42% from the field goal, Coppin 37%. So um, the stats are pretty pretty even. So one team has to pull away. Uh, Coppin has to come out here strong, clamp down defensively, and make a run. And the biggest issue that Coach Dixon and I have discussed game after game in the last several years is closing out and defending away from the bench. Exactly, exactly. Um, first half, you might come out looking good. Second half, you want to keep that same intensity. Um, it could be the tails of two halves. You want to make sure you sustain the same energy. If you weren't, you want to pick it up. You want to keep it going. You don't want to come out here and have no lacks. So we're back with the second half with Coppin in front of Bethune-Cookman, 38-36, the break here on the Coppin State Sports Network. Getting set for the second half, Coppin leading Bethune-Cookman, 38-36. Largest margin either way. Coppin was up eight at 34-26. Largest margin, Bethune-Cookman by five at 19-14. Right, and you definitely want to come out here. Coppin needs to keep up the same thing. We don't want to have no uh, lacks, no lack off. So for the moment you enter the newly renovated Holiday Inn Bar Moreno Harbor until you return home, you experience all the charms that give our hometown its Charm City moniker. Hotels can be located three blocks from Baltimore's Inner Harbor attractions and is across from the Baltimore Convention Center within a mile. Guests can find the Horseshoe Casino, Hard Rock Cafe, M&T Bank Stadium, the home of the Baltimore Ravens. Coppin to begin with the ball, and they've got the lead. 
Morgan with it. Thought about going to Drummond. Now hands it back to Clayton. 20 to shoot. Now to Andrews Fulton. Shovels it off to Clayton. Right elbow. Kick it out right corner. Now baseline right Drummond. Skip it near side left. Council wants a three on the corner. Big set. Knocking down his first field goal. Give him three. And the lead is five at 41-36. Great way to start out the second half. Lob head of the key. Now for Smith. Top side left. Now for Duffus. Gave it back near side right to Smith. Smith on the bounce. Skip it far side left out of Duffus. Duffus steps inside the arc. Now reverse it off head of the key. Into the hands of Diakiti. Shovel it back head of the key. The three is on the way. Back of the rim. No good. Drummond on the run back. Right side hesitation. Again skip it left corner. Council with it. Oh man did he almost walk. Almost. Now for Andrews Fulton, facing up left of the lane. Bouncing off the set, two-hand finish, big guy. He does the chin-up on the rim. He's got five, copping the lead at 43-36. Nice interior passing right there for the easy duck. Bounce it off, far side left. Diakiti out of the left corner. The three is out of the hand and good for Mark Gordon. 43-39, just like that, the margin to four. A minute and a half gone, second half. Tipped away by Diakiti. He'll track it down. Run it left in the lane, going strong to the rack. Clayton went up to try to block it. And Diakiti finishes, give him seven. 43-41, Coppin by two. Each team with five here in the second half. Andrews Fulton battling for the loose ball. Loose on the floor, picked up by Drummond. 13 to shoot. Right side to Clayton. Hits a trailing Morgan. Shovels it off to Andrews Fulton. Backs it out now to Clayton. 7 to shoot. Clayton head of the key. Step back 3 is on the way. Rim it off. Rebound. Cedric Council Jr. He's fouled on the way back up. Duffus with his first. First in the second half. Comes at 17.46 to go. First set free throw is good. 44-41 Coppin. A second free throw coming. It's on the way good. Council Jr. now with seven. 45-41 Coppin. Into the forecourt now to Gordon. Gordon on the bounce left to right. Put it behind his back. Got to the left elbow. Reverses it off now, lined to the lane. That was a near travel by Smith, and he turned it over. On the run back, Drummond, right of the lane, going strong. Glass no good. Andrews Fulton came down with the ball, and now the foul is called. Diakiti with his second. Non-shooting foul comes at 17-28 to go. Coppin by Ford, 45-41. Clayton on the inbound, looking, looking. Deflected, Andrews Fulton on the catch. Gave it up to Morgan on the doorstep, and last touch by Bethune-Cookman out of bounds. Um, lucky they had that one back. Morgan wasn't looking, but thankfully it was all Bethune-Cookman. Clayton from the baseline once again to inbound. Morgan on the catch, left in the corner. Bounce it back for Clayton, picked off. Duffus on the run, spins left to right, glass and good. 45-43, Coppin by two, 17-10 to go. Andrews Fulton now with it, head of the key. Line, right of the lane, kick it out right corner to Drummond. Going strong, right of the lane, floats it up, back of the rim, no good. Rebound now to Pope. Here comes Smith. Far side left now. Give it up to Duffus. Left corner kick out. They give it up to Diakiti. Top side of the right. Catch and fire three for Gordon. Rim glass it off. Rebound to Morgan in traffic. Covers up the ball. And now brings it back with Clayton. Clayton on the bounce. Gave it up right side to Council. Council. Right of the lane, nearly lost it out of the double team. Glass no good. Rebound to Pope. 
Dumpus with it, gave it up left to the lane. Smith going strong, and I believe we have a foul on the floor, or did he step out of bounds? They say Coppin knocked it out of bounds, so it stays with Bethune-Cookman. Inbound comes far side left. Gordon trying to back it out. Deflected away. Clayton got bumped off out of bounds. Last touched by Pope. Uh, I thought Clayton got fouled there, but I say out on him. Clayton on the bounce. Out of the forecourt. Eighteen to shoot. Clayton looking for the screen for Andrews Fulton. Takes it right of the lane. Glass and good to one Clayton. That looked eerily similar to the highlight we had at halftime. Right. It seems like he's getting anything he wants when he actually drives to the basket. Good things are happening for him. 47-43. Coppin by four. Now headed to Key. Diakiti far side left out of Gordon. Gordon left to the lane. Got caught. Reverse it off down to Diakite, goes right of the lane, hook it up with the right hand, rim no, but a whistle and a foul as Andrews Fulton got spilled in the lane. The foul is assessed on Morgan, that's his first, it brings us to the under 16 media timeout. 15-29 to go, Coppin leads Bethune-Cookman 47-43 on the Common State Sports Network. shopping in amazing local restaurants. Fans, it's coming. It'll be here before we know it. Common State Homecoming Week 2019. Do it for the culture. Visit coppin.edu backslash homecoming to get the full event schedule and tickets. That's the week of February 17th through the 24th. And the game that weekend, by the way, games, I should say, men's and women's games, against Howard. Uh, that should be a good one. Fifteen twenty-nine to go. Forty-seven forty-three. Coppin. Wait, wait, check, check, check. The Akiti at the free throw line. Coppin's got a twenty-two-eight point in the paint advantage. Kitty knocks it down, give him eight. 47-44, Coppin. Coppin, five of 18 from three. Bethune-Cookman, six of 13. No argument with the officiating. Nine of 18 at the line for Bethune-Cookman, eight of 15 for Coppin. Both teams getting their chances. Now nine of 16, by the way, after that make. Rim and off. 47 44 Coppin, 15 25 to go. Clayton hesitation dribble, lost the handle in the lane. Stolen by Gordon. Runs it in the lane on Oslander. Oslander got a piece of it. A tip follow is good for Pope. Give him five. That's the first points he's put up since the opening two minutes. Coppin by one, 47 46. Yeah, you definitely want to try to settle everything down right now. Seems like Bethune Cookman is definitely taking advantage and having. A little more energy right now, taking it to the basket. Speaking of taking it to the basket, Cedric Council Jr. rewarded with the effort, getting fouled on the way up. Gordon with his first. Used his Florida product. So said stepping back in, seven points all early in this second half out of Kennesaw, Georgia. Picked up three early fouls in that first half. Front of the rim, no good. Yeah. 
the Achilles check it out. Chantrez Davis hit three threes in the opening half. He's back with nine points and three fouls. 6'9", senior for Bethune-Cookman. Said can't get either end of the two shots. Keep it a one-point cop and lead it 47-46, 14.50 to go. Maitland's got it left corner, goes baseline left, in the paint, count it and a foul. Pope now with seven. And Bethune-Cookman back on top of 48-47. Philly Philly just picked up his third. Yeah, first it looked like to me he's still straight up, but I guess the refs thought he might have moved or jumped up. Oakland and one attempt. Good. Pope now with eight. 49 47. Bethune Cookman on the sixth lead change. Morgan on the inbound. Gets it into Oslander. Coppin maybe has numbers the other way. Poked away from behind and stolen. Ahead of the pack. That was a major walk by Davis. It hits the front of the rim, glass, good, and a foul. Are you kidding me? Uh, definitely looked like Pope traveled before he even got to the rim. 51-47 and a free throw coming. Davis now with 11. Clayton a foul, that's his first. Coppin went up by four at 47-43. And with a free throw here. Davis, rimming off, steers the rebound. He'll cover up. It's now eight unanswered by Bethune-Cookman. They lead by four now. Kick out left side. It's going to be stolen by Gordon. Gordon, kick it far side left. Up the ladder to go get it. Spinning left to right. Count it for Duffus. Give him five. Ten unanswered. Makes it 53-47. Bethune-Cookman. Andrews Fulton headed a key. Now to Oslander. Far side right. An answer three is on the way. Good. That's a huge basket. 53-50. Wildcats. 13-55 to go. Far side left. Gordon threw it away. Clayton on the run out, got bumped off. Dumpus, he raced it just to be sure. Right. So his second on the initial contact. Fourth team foul on the Wildcats comes at 13.48 to go. Clayton on the bounce in now for Andrews Fulton. Left of the lane, now to Oslander, head of the key. Oslander coming left of the screen. Andrews Fulton, a tough catch at the free throw line. High right to Morgan, stepping right of the lane, lost it off his knee because he was fouled. Duff has just picked up his third. Comes at 13.33 to go. Pope's coming off. The Akiti's coming back. 20 to shoot for the Eagles. Baseline out of bounds for Clayton. Gets it into Andrews Fulton. Trying to back his way in. Tried to turn to his right. They go to the floor for it, and we got a whistle and what? A tie-up. Parks is back on. Here comes Medley Bacon back to the table. They replace Chad Andrews Fulton at 13.26 to go. Topping down by three. Bethune Cookman the lead and the ball. And I believe they won a dry mop. Instead of the dry mop. They just asked most of the bench to please be seated. Exactly. I thought it was a drive by, but they just wanted them to sit down. So now Maitland's back to run the show. 
Hands it up on a ball screen now for Parks. High right feed. Now for Gordon. He wants another long jumper. Rim it off. Rebound Morgan. Outlet now for Clayton. Clayton on the run back. High right. Coming left of the medley bacon screen. Got left of the lane. Bounce it weak side for Oslander. Deflected out of bounds. Last touched by the Wildcats. 20 to shoot. Clayton looking to inbound. Bouncing in left of the lane, Medley Bacon. Hands it off to Clayton, high left. Clayton coming left of the Medley Bacon screen. Bounce it off left side to Steers. Steers trying to back his way in. Defended by Diakiti. Diakiti swatted away. Steers going strong left of the lane, left it short, got his own miss back, fights it up, and one. Justin Steers now with five, looking for six at the free throw line and a chance to tie. And now we have a little conversation going on far side of the lane. Williams and Drummond are back. Morgan's coming off. Clayton's coming off. This is ahead of the media timeout to protect both those guys and give them a quick breather. Right. Yeah, definitely give him a quick breather. Great, great time to do it right hey. now. Hey, Kent, Kent, you still got 15. Hey, you got one. Get three, get three. Drop. Steers completes a three-point play. Give him six. Technical foul has been called. We're even at 53. Double technicals have been called. Wally Parks with a technical foul. Justin Steers with a technical foul. Each their first. Lavone Foreman, that was all predicated on that little meeting I mentioned right at the lane. Right. The discussion that we saw uh, just a few minutes ago, definitely still a heated argument. Must have carried on after the play. Off the inbound, he comes to Maitland. Maitland top side of the right. Feeds it top side left. Now down to the doorstep. Glass rim good for Chantrez Davis. He's got 13. 55-53. Bethune Cookman back in front. 12 and a half to go. Drummond, high right now to Williams. Williams now for Oslander. Far side of the right. Goes opposite the Medley Bacon screen. Tough catch for Medley Bacon, right elbow. Backs it out with 13 to shoot. Backdoor feed to Drummond. Threw it behind his back to Williams. Williams runs into lane. Feeds it weak side of the right to Steers. Steers with five to shoot. Hooks it up with the left hand and scores. Steers now with eight, even at 55. Under 12 to go. Around the horn, they'll give it up to Gordon. Left corner. Going strong with a left. Glass, no. Knocked free by Oslander. Now to Medley Bacon. Steers on the catch over the top. Goes strong and got upended. That may well be an intentional foul. Diakiti went in, wrapped him up to protect him, I do believe. And now all the officials are going to get together. Both teams coming off with the under 12 media timeout as Steers and Diakiti come together just to say, hey, I understand that was a hard foul. But indeed, they want to make sure there was nothing extra after that. And as everybody has the conversation, we'll take the time out. 55 all. And it is indeed an intentional foul call on Diakiti. Back after this time out of the Coppa State Sports Network.
So out of the media timeout, 11.43 to go, even at 55, Diakiti has been assessed a flagrant one, which means two shots and the ball. Floor confidence state and Steers gets to shoot free throws all by his lonesome. Four. 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 Pope's got 13 boards to go with eight points. Clayton's got a team high of 11 points. And Steers knocks down that free throw. Give him nine. And Lavone Foreman, Coppin, back in front at 56-55 on the seventh lead change. All right, it's been pretty much back and forth. Um, if you cop it, you want to try to go on, try to maintain, go on a little run, try to separate yourself. So Coppin now leads 57-55 after two steer makes at the line. And they have the ball. On the catch of the lob, Medley Bacon's got it. Now to Clayton. Clayton on the bounce high right. Reverse it off Medley Bacon. Now to Drummond, head of the key. Far side right, Clayton on the catch. Clayton lined to the lane, kicking out corner. Oslander from the left, buries the three. Second three gives him seven. 60-55, Coppin. Nice penetration and dish for the corner three-pointer. And then the ball, I believe, last touch by Coppin out of bounds, 22 to shoot. Check that, Drummond the foul, that's his second. Comes at 11.15 to go. Davis to inbound from the baseline. Gets it in high left to Maitland. Kick it out left corner. Davis wants another three. Good again. Davis now with 16. 60-58. Coppin by two. Clayton a ball screen hand off down to Drummond. Back to Clayton. High right. Double screen. Take your pick. Spins left and a medley bacon screen back between the rings. 15 to shoot. Nearly lost the handle. Gets it back. Now hit of the key with 10 to shoot. Clayton lost it off his shoot top. Now to Oslander. Takes it left to right in the lane. Left it a little bit short. He ends up spilled on the floor. Davis now for Maitland. Running left strong is Gordon. Glass no good. Medley Bacon got a monster piece of that ball. Clayton got jarred as he stole the ball. Here comes Oslander. Now for Clayton. Steers is calling for it high left. Steers now sets the screen head of the key. Catches head of the key, launches a three, front of the rim, no good. Rebound covered up now by Collins. Quick outlet now for Maitland. 60-58, Coppin by two, nearly halfway through the second half. Far side left, Davis a three for the lead, good again. Guy's got 19 points, and he's been unstoppable from distance. 61-60, Bethune-Cookman. Right, yeah, Coppin definitely has to pick it up defensively. Guys are coming out, shooting threes, wide open threes. Definitely got to shut that down. Eight lead changes now. Oslander on the catch left out of the corner. Now for Medley Bacon, high left. Hand it back to Oslander. His three, good to foul. Kent Oslander gives Coppin the lead back. 63-61. And a timeout, I believe, on the floor for substitutions. Timeout on the floor comes at 9.41 to go. Coppin regains the lead at 63-61. Yeah, no timeout on the floor. I think they got their timing a little bit off. All right. Um... Yeah, the under 12 already happened. Wasn't quite a timeout for everybody. Just a little pause. A little, little break, get a little rest. Oslander rimming off. Davis the rebound. Copping up 63 61. 9.35 to go. Lob it down to the doorstep. Pope kicked it out. Maitland wants a three. It's good. Maitland now with 11. 64 63. Bethune Cookman on the 10th lead change. Regains the lead, 9.15 to go. Clayton now to Andrews Fulton, he wants a three. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound to Davis. Now up the floor to Maitland. 
Maitland on the bounce, right of the lane. Did he travel? Yes. Lamar Morgan replacing Kent Oslander in the Coppin State lineup, down by one, 64-63. Right now, this nine minutes, four seconds to go. Coppin definitely wants to finish this off strong. Clamp down defensively and win a nice offensive play right here. Oslander stays. Drummond came off. Under nine to go. Clayton the handle. Now to the forecourt. High left feed to Morgan. Back to Clayton. Clayton to Morgan right side. Gave it up to Medley Bacon, holding high, gave it up to Morgan, power bounce right in the lane, threw it up awkwardly, Andrew Fultman, offensive rebound and follow, he's fouled. Duffus just picked up his fourth. So Chad Andrews Fulton stepping in at the free throw line with 8.42 to go. First one's good. He's got three, even at 64. Mark Gordon's back, six points and a foul. He'll replace Duffus, five points, four fouls. Chad's second attempt, good again. Hey, Andrew stop. Fulton now with four, 65-64. Coppin on the 11th lead change of the night. Here's a critical stop for Coppin with Maitland entering the forecourt, head of the key, defended by Clayton, near side left. He gave it up to Gordon. Gordon goes left to the lane, draws a double team, fades away from 15, rim and off. Rebound, Chad Andrews Fulton. Now for Clayton. He's trying to clear out the whole right side. Morgan's in that right corner. Now for Andrews Fulton. Gave it up to Oslander. Oslander trying to take Gordon off the bounce. Runs it left of the lane. Gave it up to Andrews Fulton, and he traveled. Knew exactly where he was trying to go. Exactly, yeah. Right idea, but um, took a, too many steps right there. Davis on the bounce in now for Maitland. Coppin by one at 65-64, closing in on eight minutes to go. Maitland now hit of the key, gave it up to Parks. Back to Maitland, back to Parks, head of the key. Right corner kick out, he gave it up to Gordon. Gordon reversing off right corner to Davis, 12 to shoot. Head of the key now to Parks. Parks facing up on Morgan. Zips it left in a lane, going strong as Pope. Count it in the foul. Pope now with 10, 66-65, Bethune-Cookman back in front, and a free throw coming on the other side with 7.44 to go here on the Coppin State Sports Network. Seven forty-four to go in this one. Bethune Cookman leads Coppin 66-65. Make sure you join us next Saturday, February 2nd, as the Eagles play host to Morgan State in the battle for Baltimore. 
Cheer on the Eagles. Enjoy the action. Get the tickets right now. CompetStateSports.com. It's going to be the hottest ticket here in the Charm City next weekend. It's the big game before the big game, right? Exactly. And any place you want to be is Baltimore, Saturday, Morgan State, Coppin State, Rivalry. You definitely want to be here. Free throw. Raymond good for Pope. So the end one's good. Give him 11. 67-65. Bethune-Cookman, 7.44 to go. Morgan on the bounce in. Now to Clayton. Draws the double team. Pitches over the top. Now for Morgan. Lamar to the floor. Court now to Clayton. Medley Bacon, by the way, assessed his fourth foul last time down the floor. Clayton a jump stop after the handoff from Andrews Fulton. He's got 15 to shoot. Chad sets the screen high left. Dewan reverse it off now for Andrews Fulton. Spins right to left in a lane. Fights it up. Rim it off. Rebound Davis. Hey, get a stop! Get Quick a outlet stop! now for Maitland. 7.15 to go. Maitland lined in a lane. Turns at the left elbow. Left of the rim and off. Long rebound to Clayton. Zips it over the top. Drummond running strong on Davis. Glass no, but a whistle and a foul. Davis turned right to the official and said, what I do? <laughs> Fourth foul. He was obviously in the wrong place at the wrong time. Right. That was a nice drive by Drummond to take the contact and get the shot off. Drummond steps in, puts it on the way. Good. 67-66, Wildcats by one. Medley Bacon checks out. Cedric Council Jr. is back on. Second one's on the way. Good. Drummond got them both. Give him four. And Lavone Foreman, we are even at 67. Seventh tie in the ballgame. Right. Yep, both teams are back and forth, back and forth over this last seven minutes. Coppin definitely wants to pull away, try to get this game out. So Maitland's got it high left. And now near side of the right, Gordon's got it. Line to the lane, fights it up. Glass rim, no good. Rebound, Drummond knocked it free. Picked back up by Pope. Hands it out to the right corner, and Diakiti resets it. Now for Parks. Maitland's got it near the jump circle, now in the jump circle. 15 to shoot, under six and a half to go. Maitland going left, fights one up, left of the rim, no good. Tip three to Morgan, covers it up again. Now for Clayton, DeWan on the run back. Now to the floor court, head of the key. Wide open is Chad Andrews Fulton. Draws a triple team, gave it back to Morgan for a three. Bottom, Lamar Morgan now with 13. And Coppin reclaims the lead, 70-67, with six to go. Maitland again between the rings. Hands it off, high left corner now to Gordon. Gordon, bounce it back high left again to Maitland. Ten to shoot. Head of the key now. They give it up to Parks, right side Gordon. Got pinned on the near block, reverse it off for Diakiti. Two to shoot. Did he get it out of his hand? He did. Rim it off out of the hand of Gordon. Rebound Coppin. Here comes Clayton and a one-on-three break. Going strong. Glass and good as the backboard is shaking. Nice take again by Clayton taking it all the way. 72-67. Coppin by five. Seven unanswered by the Eagles. Timeout Bethune-Cookman. 5.18 to go. It's now Coppin 72. Bethune-Cookman 67. Back after Ray. 30-second time on the Common State Sports Network.
checking the MEAC basketball scoreboard here on a Monday night. 72-67 Coppin with 5.18 to go around the rest of the league. Howard leads at home over Maryland Eastern Shore, 72-55. Early second half, North Carolina Central leads at Savannah State, 40-34. And it's Morgan leading at home over FAMU, 29-21. Here, Lavone Foreman, down the stretch they come. Down the stretch, this is what we talk about, closing out games. You have about five minutes left, 18 seconds. You want to close this game out strong. It begins on the defensive end. Gordon on the inbound, gave it up now to Maitland. Maitland's got it left in the jump circle. Top side now to Parks. Parks back to Maitland, 13 to shoot. Maitland on the bounce, and we got a foul on the post-entry feed. Cedric, way to fight! Cedric Council Jr. just picked up his fourth. It comes at exactly five minutes to go. And that was going to be my question for you, Lavon. Are you surprised that Bethune-Cookman's taking as much time in the shot clock as they are? Um, yeah, I'm actually surprised. I definitely think they should want to get into the to their offense more quick, quickly, especially with time running down. They want to try to press the issue. Coppin now in the seventh team foul. Pope at the free throw line. Front end on the way, good. Give him 12, 72, 68, Coppin by four. Parks checks out. Dumpus is back. Second one, good again. Pope now with 13, 72-69, Coppin. Clayton now to the four court top side right. Picked up the bounce, gave it up to Sed, far side right. Hands it back to Clayton, bounce it off. Right side of the lane, Council Jr. hooks it up the right hand, back of the rim, no, tipped in the air. What do we got? Foul on the floor. Chad Andrews Fulton battling Diakit. And he is fouled out. He'll foul out with eight points to go. Excuse me. He'll foul out with 441 to go. Eight points in the game. He was quite a presence. 6'6 six, six and a senior. Mm. Substitution now. Chantrez Davis re-entering. 19 points. And four fouls. Andrews Fulton, line left, puts it on the way, good. Chad's got five, 73, 69, Coppin State. And again, Davis back in with the four fouls. Second one, good. Andrews Fulton now with six. 74, 69, again, Coppin by five, 435 to go. Davis, high left, gave it up to Maitland. Skip it right corner. Gordon going to work. Trying to back it out. Right wing behind the arc. Line. Lane. Left hand runner. And Duffus is fouled. Cedric Council Jr. just fouled out. 4.24 to go. Each team now down a man. Council Jr. will exit with seven points. Here comes Justin Steers back in. Ten points and a technical foul. So now Dondre Duffus at the free throw line. First one's on the way. Good. He's got six. 74-70. Coppin. 424 to go. Second attempt. Rim, rim. It stays in. Duffus now with seven. 74 71. Coppin by three. 420 to go. Clayton racing to the forecourt. Right corner kick to Drummond. Now headed to Keita Andrews Fulton. Takes a bounce. Tried to bounce it back door. It was kicked.
Drummond now to take it out with 20 to shoot. Lobs it into Clayton, left of the lane. Trying to back his way in. A turnaround from 10. Good. Dewan Clayton now with 15. 76-71. Coppin by 5. Right side, Gordon. Head of the key. Maitland gave it up. Right hand runner, and that's good for Duffus. Give him 9. 76-73. Coppin by 3 with 3.45 to go. Clayton to the forecourt. Now head of the key, Andrews Fulton. Chat on the bounce, line to the lane, gave it up to Steers, fights one up, rim no, but a whistle and a foul. Count the basket, I believe they're going to call goal 10. Steers now with 12, that makes the lead 78-73, Coppin at the under four media timeout, which comes at 338 remaining on the Coppin State Sports Network. So here's a great look at Chad Andrews Fulton coming down the lane and he finds Steers. Right, yeah, he's coming down. He comes up with a nice contest, but Steers gets the ball and fingertips touched it for the for the um, I'm sorry, for the go ten. Yeah, then Pope. Yep. Is the guy that went up. And the goal 10 was assessed on him. So that's a huge made field goal to make it 78-73. Rebound margin of Bethune-Cookman at 36-34. Turnovers even at 13. 20 to go on the shot clock. High left to Maitland. Maitland on the bounce. Defended by Clayton. Post entry feed far block to Davis. Kick it back to your side right. Gordon wants a three. Rim it off. Battle for the rebound. Pope comes away with it. Steps back to the rack and got fouled on the way back up. That comes at 3.13 to go. Got split Foul is on oh, Steers. Oh, that's his second. Next one against Coppin. Bethune-Cookman's in the double bonus. So Pope trying to cut into a five-point deficit with Coppin up 78-73. Rim, rim. It hung on the right of the rim and fell off. Almost got the lucky bounce. Second one rimmed off. Andrews Fulton a rebound. Now for Clayton. Clayton out of the forecourt. Coppin can run this shot clock all the way down if they so choose. We'll go under three minutes to go. Drummond. Now for Andrews Fulton. Pope went for the steal. Came up empty. Chad floats it up. Back of the rim. Side of the rim and off. Steers an offensive rebound. Follow. Count it. A foul. Justin Steers now with 14. 80, 73, Coppin. Fouls on Pope. That's his second. Free throw is good. Right in the center of the cylinder. 15 now for Steers. 81-73 Coppin. 2.50 to go. Rim it off, but a foul on the take by Duffus. He's going to the line. Both teams now in the double bonus. 
Steers with his third. This is the game plan now for Bethune-Cookman. Get to the line. Right, and if you're copping, you definitely don't want to foul to stop the clock. Rim it off for Duffus on the front end. He's trying to get to double figures. He would be the fourth Wildcat in the game with double figures. And he split a pair. Give him 10. 81-74. Coppin. 2.45 to go. Steers. Now to Andrews Fulton. In a three-on-two break. Right side Drummond through it right past him and out of bounds. Coppin did a great job spreading the floor. Great job spreading the floor and getting the ball down. Just a little too fast with the pass. Here comes Duffus. Left of the lane. Reverse it off head of the key. Gordon wants a three. Rim it off. Rebound Davis. Fights it up with the right hand. Lift the rim it off. Rebound Andrews Fulton. Covers up. A lot of contact. No call. Over the top feed to Clayton. Clayton on the run out. Finds Drummond. Left corner and three. Rim it off. Rebound Steers. Puts it home. Steers now with 17 and a technical foul after the dunk. 83-74 Coppin. Wow. Great rebound, great putback. Steers just picked up his second technical foul. Now they're having a conversation. He dunked it and it looked like he snapped the rim. I wonder if the refs are going to change the call here. If that's what they're thinking about. Find out. So Steers picks up the technical. So now at the line, Maitland stepping in for the two free throws. 83-74, the margin is now nine. Drummond is now seated on the floor. Coach Dixon helps him up. Oslander's back. And instead of free throws, it's just the ball. So now Davis rolls it in with 2.12 to go. A lot of sorting out to do there, yeah, Lavone Foreman. There's a lot of sorting out. That's going to be Lamar Morgan picking up his second. A little forearm shiver on a very strong take by Duffus to get back to the line with 2.09 to go. Last thing you want to do if you cop in, stopping the clock and free throws. Make the margin eight, pardon me, at 83-75. Another free throw for Duffus is good. 83-76. Second one, rim and good. Duffus now with 12. 83-77, Coppin by six. Clayton splits the double team. Line, Lane poked away from behind and out of bounds. Last touch by Bethune-Cookman. Clayton again to inbound from the baseline. Oslander now will switch. Clayton's calling for it. Lob comes in, stolen. Duffus with it. Swings it near side of the right. Maitland wants it three. It's on the way. Good. Maitland now with 14, 83, 80. Coppin, 154 to go. Back after a 30-second timeout on the Coppin State Sports Network.
top and led moments ago, 83-74. Since then, six straight. Yep. 154 to go. Oslander to inbound from the far end of the floor. Looking for Clayton. Finds Andrews Fulton. Gave it back to Oslander. After a bounce, gave it up to Clayton. Now Clayton will bring it across. Matched up on Duffus. Now hit it a key. 140 to go, 17 to shoot. Clayton on the bounce back. Andrews Fulton runs right elbow. Kick it out right corner. Oslander a three. Got it. Oslander. Now with 10 in the game. 86 80 and a huge three for the Eagles. But an answer triple off the left wing is good for Maitland. He's got 17. 86 83. Coppin. 75 seconds to go. Clayton, Andrews Fulton, a power bounce in the lane, fights it up and scores. Andrews Fulton now with eight. 88-83, Coppin by five, 109 to go. Back at 30 on the Coppin State Sports Network. One oh nine to go in regulation. Coppin by five at 88-83. And Lavone, both ends of the floor. What's the mindset right now for both teams? Well, right now, Coppin definitely want to get get a stop. And they definitely don't want to foul and stop the clock. So if you're Coppin, that's what you want to do. If you're Bethune Cookman, you definitely want to score as fast as you can. If you can't stop the clock, then you'll take it. Davis rolls it in. Maitland picks it up near the free throw line. Hey, now to the forecourt, around the Davis screen. Maitland, a three, headed the key, front of the rim. No rebound, Anders Fulton. Outlet now for Steers. Steers in the forecourt. Hands it off to a trailing Clayton along the far sideline. Out of the double team, finds Andrews Fulton. Now to Oslander in the jump circle. And he's fouled. Maitland with his first. 49.3 to go. Here comes Drummond back to the scorer's table. Lift the rim and off. Drummond's back. Morgan's coming off. Second free throw, good. Oslander now with 11. 89-83, Coppin by 6. 45 seconds to go. Maitland, high left on the bounce, going strong to the rack, scores. Maitland now with 19. 89-85, Coppin. Clayton the handle. Now right side, Oslander, 30 seconds to go, and he's fouled. Or did he call timeout? Timeout with 21 to shoot. 30.5 to go. Back after a 30-second time on the Common State Sports Network. Thirty point five to go, twenty one to shoot. Lavone Foreman as we get a good look here at Chad Andrews Fulton and Dewan Clayton on this handoff and then the switch to get the timeout called. 
in your comp and you're trying to take as much of this time off as you can. Exactly. If you're comping, you definitely want to take as much time off the clock as possible. You want to make sure you secure the ball. You don't want any turnovers right now. Big three by Oslander. You just saw it on the replay here on CoppaStateSports.com. That big three gives him 11 in the game. Justin steers a new career high of 17 points, including 14 in the second half. Oslander to inbound far side, defended by the 6'9 junior, Pope. Looking to his right. Gets it into Steers. Trying to give it back to Oslander. Somehow ending up with the ball is Morgan, who just checked in out of the timeout. He catches and is fouled on the left wing behind the arc. Fouls on Gordon. That is his second. A fortuitous bounce for the Eagles. It was definitely a lucky bounce. I thought Oslander was actually held, but it was no call. But Coppin was lucky to get the ball back. Lamar Morgan steps in, buries the free throw. Give him 14. 90-85, Coppin. 25.6 to go, shot clock turned off. Second one, good. Morgan got them both, give him 15. He'll check out, Drummond's back on. 91-85, Coppin. And it's not over yet. Still Whoa. plenty of time left. Duffus runs it in the lane. Steers got a piece of it and I believe just fouled out. And Duffus will have two free throws coming. Check that. Fourth personal foul. That's odd with all the technical fouls in there and everything else. It doesn't go in his column. Right. First free throw is good for Duffus. Give him 13 in the game. Makes it 91-86. Morgan's running back to the scorer's table. He's going to check in after this free throw make by Duffus, which turns into a miss. Steers knocked it free. Turning left at a lane. Duffus again to the rack and scores. He's got 15. 91-88, Coppin. Bethune-Cookman has the ball with 14 seconds to go. Pope with the steal. He's then fouled. Drummond with his third. What a turn of events off that inbound. Yeah, Coppin getting a little sloppy with the ball. Now securing the rebound also. Pope at the line. First one's on the way. Good. 91-89 Coppin. Pope has 14. Second free throw. Rim. It trickles off. Rebound. And the ball went out of bounds. Last touch by Bethune-Cookman, I believe. They're going to go to the monitor, or are they? Keep it 91-89. Both teams have been sent to their respective benches, so it acts as an extra timeout. And they'll go to the monitor. And we're getting a great look at it here courtside. The ball is just hanging on the rim. And... Who is this last touch by? Andrews Fulton is battling with Pope for the loose ball, and it is last touched, I believe, by Pope. Yeah, very close. Pope looks to kind of come over the back. Might have got fingertips on it. It's going to be a hard one. It almost seems like he knocked it out of the hand of Chad Andrews Fulton. But did Chad get a pinky? On there at the very, very end. Oh, man, he got it again. Yeah, Andrew Fulton, the second attempt might have touched it. Not sure, though. Maybe. So two of the three officials have given it a look. This is arguably the call of the game at 
Toppin by two, 13.3 to go. He reaches out. It's almost like that replay in the Patriots game. Right. On the punt that went under the arm and didn't touch anything. Exactly. Here's the call. Bethune, Cookman, ball. They say last touch by Chad Andrews Fulton. Wow. It's a big call. 13.3 to go. Bethune Cookman a chance to tie with a two, a three for the lead. Davis to inbound from the baseline. Kicks it into Maitland, right corner. Oslander forced him left. He launches the three. Right of the rim, no. Oslander the rebound with 8.1. He's fouled. And Davis wrapped him up and I believe picked up his fifth personal foul in the process. And indeed, he has fouled out. That's huge. 19 points on the night. He can hit from anywhere on the floor. His presence on the boards has been felt all night long. And his length at 6'9 is huge. No yeah. pun intended, but it's huge. Definitely huge, especially right here. If he misses, you know, definitely going to miss his rebounding. Oslander. First one's on the way. Good. He's got 12. 92-89, Coppin. Second one. Good again. 93-89. Oslander now with 13. Duffus with it. Put it behind his back with three. Down to two in the lane. Runs it up. Scores with a second to go. Timeout with Thune Cookman. Duffus now with 17. Makes it 93-91. It's a full timeout. We'll just keep it right here. They're also going to go to the monitor just to check the clock. How about Duffus? Putting it behind his back. Kept the handle. Goes strong on Chad. And somehow gets that reverse to go. Right. At first I thought he was about to lose the ball, but he maintained his control. Um, got it up for the layup. Um, first of Thought he took a little bit of too much time, but still got the score. It's still in the twine at one second. It remains at one second. So Coppin leading 93-91. The lead and the ball, and now the possession arrow. Right. So if you're copping right now, you definitely don't want to lose the ball. Secure the ball and probably should secure this game. You'd almost have to think Bethune Cookman's going to try to foul immediately. Right, exactly. Yeah, if you're Bethune Cookman, you definitely want to try to foul as fast as you can. If you're copping, you're definitely going to try to avoid being fouled to try to space out and try to avoid them stopping the clock. So you normally run a guy at the ball to come get it and then somebody over the top. Right. Drummond to inbound, defended by Pope. Coppin's got everybody near the time stripe. Drummond receives the ball from the official with one second to go. Looking inbound, Oslander catches and he's fouled with half a second to go. Boy, there was a void over here to his left. If he gets rid of it, game's over. You're right. Oslander line left. First one's on the way. Good again. Oslander now with 14. 94-91. This will make it academic, and he does. Oslander got them both. Give him 15. Inbound, and a launch from half court is on the way. Top of the backboard. No good for Gordon. And Coppin survives at home. 95-91 over Bethune-Cookman. 
to even their MEAC record at four and four. Bethune Cookman with the loss. They're now three and four in the MEAC. And tomorrow you can get a free traditional snack wing with a minimum purchase of ten dollars. Food purchase only, alcohol and tax not included. You must present your Bethune Cookman game ticket stub or original 70 point promotion coupon and cop and ID. One coupon per visit. Coupon has no cash value. Ballot at the Buffalo Wild Wings in White Marsh, Arundel Mills, and Owings Mills. And the offer expires January 29th. We have seen so many of these close games, Lobo and Foreman, come down the stretch. And Comp and unable to finish. Next thing you know, they put one away, 95-91. Right, Coffin, Coppin, I'm sorry, definitely showed some toughness today. Definitely pulling this one out. They had a little shaky, uh, shaky uh, end of the quarter, but they pulled it together to get this win. So as the guys are going to be checking out the alma mater, Oslander surpasses not only a season high of nine with the 15 today, but his career high of 10 that he got at A&T. On the 15th of January, Dewan Clayton will finish with 15, Drummond with four, Medley Bacon finishes with five, Ring with six, Morgan also in double figures with 15, Chad Andrews Fulton a whole home night of eight points. For Bethune Cookman, Duffus with 17, Houston Smith was held scoreless as a starter, Gordon with six, Pope with 14. Dia Key finishes with 80. Foul out with 4.41 to go. Maitland off the bench with 19. Parks with 2. Collins with 5. And also Davis with 19 fouling out with 8.1 to go. Just a great effort by Coppin. They're now 4-19 on the year overall. And Bethune-Cookman falls to 8-13. Heading home to take on North Carolina Central and North Carolina a t next Saturday and Monday. Coppin has the rest of the week off before hosting the Battle of Baltimore against Morgan State on Saturday at 4. Right. Yeah, definitely looking forward. Coppin and Morgan. Great to get this win now. And then we can try to get Morgan on Saturday. So after the alma mater is performed, we'll have, I believe, head coach Juan Dixon as well as our Buffalo Wild Wings player of the game and Kent Oslander here in mere moments on our Common State Sports Network post-game show. And again, how big was Oslander coming down that stretch? The 15 points, including the free throws. He finishes at the line, six of nine. But down the stretch, the free throws were huge. And I want to say, five of his last six. Oslander definitely showed up. Clutch free throws in the end. So Coach Dixon now joins us here courtside. Coach, we've talked about so many times finishing games with two minutes to go. It's an eight-point lead at 81-73, nearly tied with about two minutes to go, and then you just found a way. Yeah, I mean, came off a tough loss against Florida and Florida, Florida and them. Uh, our guys came out and played solid defense in the first half. Uh, that's a really good team. They picked them in the conference. And, um, you know, our guys, most points we've scored since, since we've been here as a staff and offensively we were sound we made all the right plays this guy to my left Ken Oslander had an outstanding offensive day but he had a better defensive day I mean we leaned on him to come off the bench and be solid defensively and he did his job executed his role at a high level um, we had multiple guys in double figures Justin Steers came off the bench with great energy Big B um, gear played extremely well and of course our seniors uh, Dewan Clayton, of course, and Taquan Drummond did a really good job of being solid for 40 minutes. You've got a late game situation. Inexplicably, ball gets turned over. You get the stop, then you get the ball back. Yeah, we talk about value in the basketball. Uh, we had 16 turnovers. You know, the goal is to try to, to, try to stay under 10. Um, but guys just got to be confident with the ball, hold it, got to know the situation. They're trying to foul, trying to, you know, extend the game, and we throw elevized passes. Unforced turnovers. So, Coach, i got to ask you, how do you take the momentum, the emotion of today, for Saturday, put it in the bottle, uh -huh. save it, and then reopen it for Saturday with the Battle of Baltimore? There's, there's no doubt um, that our guys will get up for that game. Um, hopefully we have a great atmosphere. Uh, we're extremely confident. You know, we 
played all year to get to this point where we're playing high-level basketball. And uh, we have a tough game against Morgan State. We'll, we're going to prepare, get these guys some rest, and get ready to have a good showing on Saturday. Appreciate the time. It's always a great win tonight. All right, thank you. There it is. Head coach Juan Dixon after a 95-91 thriller and the guy that knocked down the free throws down the stretch and also some big threes down the stretch. None other than Ken Oslander. Let me break some news to you, big guy. Career high of 15, 14 of which coming in a critical second half. What's that mean for you and this team? I mean, this is this is awesome. It's a great feeling. That was a great team. Um, that was a great team win all around. I mean, endless guys play good. Gear hasn't been playing much this year. He came in the first half. was awesome. Justin probably had his best game. Um, and I, I was feeling good today, and I was able to knock down some shots and help us win. We just got to see one of those big threes out of that right-hand corner. What's that, what, what's that feel like when you're getting the ball, you know you have the confidence in the world, and then they start falling for you? Uh, there's no better feeling in the world than seeing a three go down. I mean, I mean, I haven't been shooting the ball as well as I feel like I can this year, and uh, it was nice to have this game. One more for you. I asked Coach Dixon. I know you heard me ask him same thing. How do you put all the emotion, all the energy, all that momentum from today, put it in the bottle, put it back on the shelf, use it in practice this week, and then reopen it next Saturday in the Battle of Baltimore? Uh, I mean, you, you just got to do it. It's it's Morgan versus Coppin. It's like the celebrated game of the year every single year. Um, and we'll have no problem getting up for it. The fans will be here, and it's, it's going to be an awesome game. Appreciate the time. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. There is Ken Ostlander, our player of the game, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings, a career high of 15 and he did a great job closing out the Bone Foreman with those free throws down the stretch. Right, yeah, definitely. He did a great job. You know, under pressure, had to make some clutch free throws, and he stepped up to the free throw line. He was confident, and he drained them. 95-91, the final. Coppin over Bethune-Cookman. Thank you to our TV crew, our radio crew. Until next Saturday, thank you so much for watching listening on the Coppin State Sports Network.